Oh oh. Okay, thanks ya. Hmm. Rain, rain, rain. Wait, I'll just oh yeah, this thing. I'll just put the that letter under the seat. Put it under the seat. No, itself. Don't take the risk. It's kind of hot. It's getting wet. Oh, pack it inside the jacket. Okay. Banana man is not there. He must have left. I saw the rain clouds. Ah, and I'm biting. But what side is raining, lah? But what side? I tam side. You take care. Okay, bye. bye. You're pouring glass. Oh, manja. Mana? Pakra. Liana. Liana. Mak nak balik dah. Ha. Mana okay. I'm going to take a look at you. You're going to take a look at you. Tapi berak kencing elok. Mana okay? Ha. Rum manja itu. Pakra. Manja. Ah, ana ada okey lah. Rombo na kutu lah. Ana orang orang tinggal kunjung ada paruh lah. Yang orang yang saya lah. Ada okey. Okey. No, Biona was scratching. No, she asked. Does it mean you know? If she has sticks. I said, oh, she just a spade. And then. And she got other other shots. Uh. She said, don't worry. It's it. My cat also scratches. The only is, you know, to continuously, you know, they scratch at one particular spot. Then maybe you know, have it checked out. If not. It is normal. Let me concentrate now. Okay, now oh, I can tell you. Mummy called. I had just uh, turned on the washing machine. Then I was replying to M. I was just about to leave. And Asked whether I'm free to talk. Oh, I said I'm just about to go out, but you know it's okay. We can talk. Then she said, you know, she started saying, "Sorry to disturb you. Mummy's always disturbing someone." I ah, when she starts like that, I know, I know already. Something has happened. I know. So I said. I let me. I have time to talk to you. Just yeah, let's talk. Then she said, "Ah, uh, she's coming back permanently." You heard me right. She's coming back permanently in. November. Let me see if you're still there. Yeah. Okay. He's coming back permanently in November because uh, she said she, she just said people. You know, she didn't say. She just said people are saying that as long as I'm here, Angel would want to come home. You know, go back to Uncle South. No, Angel is Kiran's uh, ex-wife. And 
you know, ever since mommy went there, she moved out and mommy doesn't like her, okay, mommy doesn't like her. I don't know her, I only know what I hear from others, so I'm not going to judge her. I've only met her, you know, once when after Kiran got married and then they came to Malaysia then, and they came to Yule Garden. I didn't quite, hmm, but she, to me, la, she was a bit arrogant and um, controlling towards Kiran. And then, of course, later on, only I heard, you know, from Julia. Even when I was in KL the other day, you know, was saying, telling me about the fights Kiran and Angel had when they were in KL, and she get verbally and physically abusive. Kiran, anyway, Kiran filed for divorce, and but. I don't know lah, very, it's funny that Kiran is staying with her now, with, the, with their two children and he just can't leave her, you know, but for her it's all about the money, she keeps telling him to ask uncle for money and that is what I hear, so then when uncle said, you know, he didn't have money, Kiran, uh, this I heard from uncle himself, uncle said that Kiran told him to sell the factory that made uncle very hurt because uncle has had this factory for years ever even before Kiran was born and because of this factory uncle was able to send him to medical college and all that and so anyway Oh, mommy doesn't like her. Mommy doesn't like Kiran being with her and she makes it known. You know, I, when I was there, so I was telling mommy, in Sydney, you don't interfere. You don't interfere. You know, I said that is you know, his son, you know, uncle's, you know, uncle's son. I said, you don't. I said, it's, like you, you don't like people talking about your son. You get very defensive over your son. Even though you know, he's committing adultery and he got three children. Got two children while you are still married. You don't like to hear all that. So it's your son. So what gives you the right to talk about Kiran? to Uncle Raja. Thank you. Then mommy said, yeah, I know, I'm always in the wrong. I'm always in the wrong and all that. And then mommy said, mommy said, what? No one wants her. I said, what do you mean no one wants you? She said she wanted to come back next month, right? Then Ashwin said that she can't because Alicia is having, she could have a final year exam. She doesn't want her to be distracted, blah, blah, blah. I told mommy, I said, that day itself, I told you, you can come back to Penang. You don't have to go there. You want to go there. You want to be there. So, then she said she want to come back in October, right? Then that too, I cancelled. And she said, no one wants me there. Meaning here, lah. Meaning here. No one wants me there. No one wants me here. Meaning India. And she said, me, that's not true. Hillary and I have been waiting for you to come back for so long. And she, you know, she started crying and 
Now that the nobody wants me, I always say the wrong thing, I always get myself into trouble. And she kept on repeating about no one wanting her. I said, I'm telling you over and over again to come back, to come back to the man. But you still go on saying what your son said. That's all that's important to you, what he says. You don't care about what I say, how I feel. Then she said, Why are they doing this to me? Now, this is where I made the mistake. I said, I was getting set up a solar. So I think we were on the phone. We, in total, by an hour. So I said, Me, if. It was me and people didn't want me here and didn't want me there. I would ask myself why. Instead of asking and questioning why they are doing this, why they are saying that, I would ask myself why. Hey, the phone is under the seat. No, no. Tomorrow. And then... Then she said, Yeah, I know it's my fault. I said, it's my fault. It's always my fault. I'm always stupid. And she said, I know. I know I'm stupid. What to do, only want what's best for everyone. I just kept quiet. Just let her vent. I didn't say that you were in the wrong. All I said was, I would ask myself, you know, why? <sighs> and she can't understand why the, her beloved grandchildren aren't, you know, standing on their heads for her to return. I already told her when I was there. Hello, Amy. So, that was that one. After that, I had no mood to go out. No mood to go out. She said <clears throat> her leg is painful. She went to see a doctor two nights ago. That one I know she messaged me, said to pray for her. And she said she's using the walker again, and not just the walking stick. I said if you're using the walker, how are you going to go to KL? so sad, you know. Here I am waiting for her to you know, come home. Of course, she doesn't consider Penang home now. Waiting for her to come back. You know, and all she's 
worried about this Kael and her son and her beloved grandchildren and okay lah. When you need me, then you'll know where to find me. That's all I can see. Okay, I stop first, huh? I go and have my shower. Have my dinner. Oh, yeah. Thank you for listening to me. Love you.